Every Friday, we at Best of Us Investors have what we call a stock talk, where at 3 o'clock we get on a Zoom call and we talk about past week's activities. Well, the conversation went to the past year's activities because a lot of the people in our group are, are, ha, have increased their, their profits by 100% by buying the stocks that we recommended in the bus 12 and bus 13 portfolios. And, and we're talking about some possibilities of a crash or a dip or what a pullback. And Scott brought up the question, how do we protect our profits? And, and it, that's a good question. And the first thing that we spoke of was stop losses. And then we, we also got into a second element, and that is to learn the stock story and help gain uh, some insight as to what's going to happen next. So in this video, what I want to do is explain how to use charts to give you indications of how, where to put your stop loss orders. But then I also I also want to explain as to how you can use the charts to understand the individual story of each stock. Not the market as a whole, but the individual story by looking at the charts and putting in some indicators that will give you signals as to where you should buy, where you should sell, and where you should put in your stop loss orders to protect your profits. Yeah, we're up over 100% on the bus 12 and bus 13 in 2023. And we think we're going to have another excellent year in 2024, but it's not, it's gonna be after we have some corrections. There's just too many variables and we need to protect and take the risk out of this market. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. I hope you find it helpful. Why don't you subscribe? Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Every stock has its own story, and if you want to trade that stock or invest in that stock, you need to understand its story. Number one, what it does and how it does it and where it fits into its ecosystem. But the other story is on these charts. And we let's start with NVIDIA and, and let's see what NVIDIA's story is. In July of 2023, it was up around 480. And then it took a, a bit of a, a dip and it went down to about uh, 406. That's a $74 drop, which represents represents about a 15% correction. Then it went back up and in August it got back up to uh, about $503 and then it came and it corrected and in September it was down to about 412. That's an 18% drop. Then we come to October it got up to about 477 and then corrected and came down to uh, 393. That's a 17.6 drop. And then in November, uh, it got up to uh, 502 and then came down to 448. That's a 10.7% drop. So now we have a history. We have a pattern that we can judge from and that if we put those four patterns together, we come up with an average of 15.35%. So if we look at it where it's at now, at roughly, well, no, at exactly $595, what might it correct to? If we use our average of 15%, we multiply the current price times 85%, and we come up with a price of 505.75. And that would put us right about there, okay? Uh, as it is, it's right above the 50 uh, uh, moving average. So I would say to Scott, if I want to preserve my profits, I'll take how much I invested, and in, case, in Scott's case, he invested, uh, he bought 50 shares at 137. Uh, he's now got uh, 50 shares worth to, uh, $29,700. And what he needs to decide is, does he want to take all his profits out 
and uh, bring his cost basis back down to 6850 Or does he want to capture half of his profits and put a stop loss in at, um, what did I say, 50575 And if it goes below that, how much of it does he want to protect? Is it 50%? Is it 85%? But we know that history tells us that this is going to correct, it always has in the past, and in all probability, it will correct by somewhere around 15%. So we go to our brokerage account and we enter a stop loss for uh, 15%. Now I want to introduce to Scott a more advanced means of maybe gaining a, a signal as to when to get out of NVIDIA and any stock as far as that goes. But again, each stock tells its own story. Let me help you understand NVIDIA's. As you can see, as the stock goes up, I've added this yellow line. This is a nine-day moving average, and it serves as a good signal when, when the price, the candlestick crosses it, it's a good signal. That's the time to make your decision. Are you going to uh, put in a stop loss at that point, or are you going to sell? Uh, but that's a decision you make. But what I'm saying is this is one of the signals we use as a part of our swing trading that can then be adapted to investing as well. So I would say to Scott right now, if, ne if Monday morning um, NVIDIA dropped to $553.22, I'd sell. Or I'd l at least sell part of what I had in anticipation that it's going to do the same thing. It always does. Comes down, finds a lower level, and then comes up. So that would be an indication uh, to, to, for Scott. What I also then want to do is show you another variant that you can put on this. What I've done is change to a weekly chart. And what I want you to look at is the blue line, the 50-day, the or at this place, at this, on this chart, it's going to be the 50-week moving average. If you got into NVIDIA back in, 19, in August of 19 at $42.22 and you just f didn't trade until it crossed the 50-day uh, moving average, you, you, you would have then taken it from, what was it, 40-some, uh, $40 to uh, somewhere around um, 226 and you would have stayed out of it until it can then can't cross at 176 and you'd still be in it. That is using a weekly chart or, and just trading on the 50 day uh, uh, or 50 week moving average. Then as again you can use uh, a, this as a signal um, to tell you when you might want to consider uh, changing your position. It's the use of the 50 and the, the, the 9. In this case, this is weak because we're on a weekly chart and you can gain some signals. So between those two things, Scott, I hope that gives you a better handle on how to trade your stocks that you've bought within the BUS 12 and BUS 13 portfolios and you've made enormous profit. In this case, um, you've 3x your investment and you want to pr protect it. NVIDIA, uh, I guess it would be my take that um, you're, you're good to go, but you've got other stocks that have their own story, understand their story, both their financial, their position in their ecosystem, but also market trends and market movements. This is using what we've learned in swing trading to help us become a better long-term investor. This is what we teach at Best of Us Investors, and we talk about it every Friday at our Stock Talk, just like we did this past Friday. Scott, I hope this helps you.